Uh, young Kim is exhibiting uh, in this show and uh, plant-based photographs uh, where she collects trimmings of trees. Um, it, the pieces, uh, some of them uh, have an ikebana look to them. Uh, could you talk about that? Well, I, I definitely noticed that as well. I don't think that Young would talk about them in that way, but Young is from Korea, so certainly perhaps influenced by other Asian arts like Ikebana. Um, but I think what we're noticing is her very careful and delicate arrangement of material, of plant material. Um, and perhaps in some Ikebana, um, there's a parallel with the fact that she puts them into sort of stronger geometric shapes, like squares and circles, um, that give them a formal strength that they actually don't have. Um, they're very delicate and, you know... And not connected. Stronger. And right. not connected, but they operate when she composes them as a whole. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's sort of a formal constraint. Um, she also, I, I think, you know, not to belabor this point about Ikebana, but there's this use of negative space. She's, she's the, the space in between the piece of material is, seems carefully orchestrated as well. I'm so glad you noticed that. Um, and, and I think it's not only in between the elements, but it's also um, how the elements are centered within the page. So the page becomes almost the environment, and Young is absolutely conscious of thinking about arranging space. And that's what she thinks about when she's making these, um, what to us might look like a Yubana or a still life type mm -hmm. images. Yeah, still life. She's thinking about arranging space. So it's more of an imaginary space that takes place on the page.